Hi. Um, it's Miss Val. I just wanted to do a video today. I haven't done a video in a little while, but I wanted to do one today and I thought it was important. I'm eating my lunch right now. A lot of protein, eggs and chicken. Um, I want to talk about choices. Choices. Hi, Abby. How you doing? I think it's very important because I know all too well that I'm going to make this statement that our choices that we make today, our choices that we make today are the mistakes that we will fix tomorrow. Hi, Lynn. How you doing, honey? Okay. The choices that we make today will be the mistakes that we fix tomorrow. Okay. I'm glad to see that you're doing good, Abby. I, I am too. God is good all the time. But I wanted to share this because I know all too well about choices and mistakes, but more so when we decide to do something in our life, no matter what we do in life. Thank you, Lynn. You're beautiful too. No matter what we do in life, when we make a choice, we need to take two steps back and we have to realize or think on it because sometimes it's not just about me. Sometimes it's not just about you. It's like a ripple effect. You can take a stone and throw it into a lake and what will happen is you see all those ripples. They just keep going and going and going. Well, that's other people. So the decisions that we make in our life affect other people. My decisions I'm so hungry. I'm sorry. My decisions that I made when all this stuff was happening to me, when I walked away from Jeff, affected so many people. Me, my mother, my children, Jeff, my grandmother, my aunt, my uncle, my friends, Margie, Kristen, Kathy, people that I hold dear to my heart. But at that time, we're not thinking. We're just doing what we know we want to do at that time. Hello, Samantha, honey. You look beautiful, by the way. We're just doing what we want to do at that time and at that moment. You know, I always say live in the moment, but then again, you know, you know, live by biblical standards and make good godly choices. Because when we don't, the effects that it has it just, it grows and it's, it's, it affects everybody. Um, you know, no one's life is perfect. My life's not perfect. Hi, Colleen, how you doing? So everything that I've been through and the journey that I've been on, I try to do things to help people so that they don't make the same mistakes. Hey, Jim, my brother, what's up? Rocker, the drummer, Jim's a drummer. Um, so anyway, I want to stay on track here. When you make a decision and again, you know, we all do it. Biblical decisions are important in life because we all look at all the hearts. I love all of you. Thank you so much. The reason why I'm saying this is because there's things going on in my life right now, personally. You know, hi, Pat. You're like my big brother. There's things going on in my life personally right now with my children and everything that, you know, Mis choices that are made affect everybody, especially when it comes to, you know, children that are involved everybody hurts from it everybody does so that's why take the time to step back and and think before you react that was a big thing that you know i learned in prison you think before you react because it could get you in a lot of trouble it really can um you know i know that i posted on my wall i'm eating chicken and eggs right now i'm, I'm high protein so anyway i like protein um you know, that what I was saying was you have to realize that sometimes our decisions affect everybody else around us, not just you. And I know that's what I was telling you. I, I got off track. I made a remark the other night, broken. I made a remark, um, you know, please, you know, God knows what is needed. And sometimes I don't specify on things because, you know... You, your business is your own business and God knows 
what the problem and what the need is. So when you pray and say, you know, Lord, can you help Val, Val or Gail, Miss Val, or if I say to someone, you know, Lord, can you help my cousin Joey Hynek or my friend Gino, you know, God knows their needs already, you know, God, God already knows. And, um, so basically what it comes down to is, you know, when there's things going on in your life and the decisions of other people can really affect you. Um, our family's a little affected by something right now. And, um, Hey Gino, how you doing? Everything looks good on your end. I'm glad to see you doing so well. Hi, Amy Lynn. Uh, we're talking about decisions, and that's what I'm talking about, that the decisions you make today are the mistakes that you fix tomorrow, and inevitably, they affect other people. Hi, Lissa, my sister's on. They affect other people, and my sister knows all too well. My decisions that I had made uh, in my past affected my sister. She did without her sister for four and a half years, you know? And Samantha, yes, you've been there, but you got it all together for your kids. But in the interim of all the all that, you know how it affected other people in your life. Uh, you know, there could be, there's a situation, you know, like I said, in my family right now, um, you know, I love my, uh, I like to call Jonathan my son-in-law, soon to be son-in-law, you know, I love him, my husband loves him, you know, my daughter, my grandchildren, my son, uh, but God knows that we need prayer in our family right now. Hi, Amy Lynn. Hey, you. She was my bunkie. But anyway, um, you know, I just want to make it clear that when children are involved and other people are involved, the decisions that you make can affect them. And I just hope that many of you will take the time. Gino, I know nothing's easy, but it's easy when God's involved because there ain't anything that God can't handle. And with God, all things are possible. I tell everybody that. That's Matthew 19, 26. And, you know, that's another thing. You know, the peace of God, it's one thing to be concerned about things, but to let it consume you and take over your life with worry that's a sin. That's a sin. It's okay to be concerned about things, but you're not supposed to worry because inevitably you're slapping God in the face and saying, he's not big enough. He's not strong enough to handle your problem. And trust me, if God was able to handle my problem and bring me home when, you know, Again, this isn't about me, but, you know, I, I trusted him. And I trust him now through all things. But I just know that when you have decisions that you're going to make, let's talk about it. Divorce, leaving your husband, leaving your wife. First of all, not biblical. I did it. It's going to affect a lot of people. The grass is not greener on the other side. So some of the people that are making decisions today, whether it means to leave, not work things out, you might be smothered, you know, I'm just going to quit this job. I know I can get another one, which, you know, that, you know, you can do that. That's a leap. You know, you step out in faith. My thing is this, that, you know, you have to understand that when you make these decisions, you, you just, you just have to realize that other people are affected. And I mean, I could go on and on about this because yes, Pat, Pat made a very good, um, thanks Pat. When we live in the flesh and we're not living for God, we will make decisions that are not right. Um, but when I was saying the grass is not greener on the other side, what I say after that is it's only greener where you water it because there's just, there's nothing but a bunch of weeds waiting to choke the life out of you and a python snake over here. You know, if God brought someone into your life to love, you have children with them, you know, do what's right in God's eyes, make it work. You know, you're blessed every day because you get up, but blessings rain down on you when you're living obedient and according to biblical standards. I know all too well. I told you, I'll tell every one of you. I looked away from God one time. He was still here, but he was over here in the distance. I was like, no, 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 I don't want anything God right now. You know, my pop pop passed away and I was mad at God. And look what happened. And if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. But it was because of decisions, stupid decisions. But I don't beat myself up anymore 
because God and only God can do what no man can because for him to bring me back right to where I'm at right now and bring the man that I left back to me and give me everything I've that I thought I lost it's only God. So that just goes to show with God, all things are possible. Even when you have a relationship that you, that you feel is just not going right, you know, just take two steps back and think first, my chicken's cold. Oh, take two steps back and think before you make that decision. Um, basically that's what I wanted to share today. Yes, Pat, that is how he brought me back. Pat's like a big brother to me. He knows me all too well. But you're right, Pat. And God will also allow this. The decisions that we make when we become broken, I was broken. Broken to where I thought, oh my gosh, my life is over. He will bring you to a place of brokenness so that you will open your eyes and be still and know that he is God. Because God is the one that confirms, restores, strengthens, and redeems. He's the only one that can do that. And if you read 1 Peter 5.10, it will tell you that. So when you are broken, you got to ask God also, what are you trying to show me through this? And sometimes things are clear and sometimes things aren't. And sometimes we have to give things time and God says yes, no, or maybe or not now. Um, and you know, there's a saying, when God closes one door, he opens up another. But I've always told everybody this, sometimes he'll leave those doors cracked too. Because when you turn around and you look this way, that crack is a reminder of everything that God brings you through. It's a crack that I see that is a reminder of everything that God brought me through to this point. There's nothing that God cannot restore and fix in any of your lives. Nothing. Don't give up. We need to have hope and faith. Faith is the number one thing you need for obedience to the Lord. To tell God you know that he can when you can't. And... You'll be okay. You'll get through this. I read a book by Max Lucado. Some people say Lucado. That's called You'll Get Th And my daughter was calling me. So I'm going to cut this short. I just wanted to share. Today, thank God for today. Praise him seven times or more every day for everything that you have. When you're coming to a point where you think your world is over, just stop, be still, know that he is God, and just say, you know, God, I know you got this, and I know that you'll bring me through this storm and bring me right to safe to safety and put my feet right on the sand. And yes, Pat, they are. You know, Pat said all bad things are teaching through God, and, and, and it, it is, you know, where God's involved. You know, a lot of people use Romans 8.28, you know, for, you know, we know all things work together for good to those that love God who are called according to his purpose. But you have to go, you have to look at that verse. All things work together for good to those that love God. If you don't have God and you don't love God, things ain't going to be working to, to, for your good. Trust me, when you eliminate God, it's not. And um, you're called according to his purpose. See, it was his purpose when I was in jail and at Clinton. It was his purpose that I was sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with all those girls, women who so desperately need it. That was his purpose for my life at that time in a dark place. So anything that you're going through, if you think it's so bad, it's not. Not where God's involved. Just surrender, give it to him, and he'll take care of it. And make your decisions based upon what you know is biblical standards. You will not go wrong. I know. Trust me. Well, you don't have to trust me. But you can trust the word of the Lord. Okay? So, I'm going to go because I have to call my daughter back. And I got my chai tea here. By the way, chai tea from Wawa. If you put like two or three of them in here. Oh, it's so good. What would you say, Pat? Tougher, meaner, leaner, preparing you for more. Yes, dear, he is, because I am tougher. I don't want to say meaner, 
but there's a side of me that is you don't want to see if I get mad because I just speak and you know um I am getting a little leaner and and yes Pat I am getting leaner because I'm eating a lot of protein we're doing really good over here with eating well love you too Pat not don't say diet if you say diet no forget it you're gonna want to eat everything you know what I mean <laughs> I know Pat I'm laughing too I'm a nut but when I get time, I just love doing these videos because I know that I get a lot of feedback from a lot of people who like them. And I'm looking for a new pair of glasses because I don't like these. But anyway, they work. They let me see. Um, so anyway, please keep this in mind. I'm going to go now. Um, I love everybody. Um, I want to give a shout out to a couple people. Mary, you're in my prayers every day. God knows what you need. Um, Colleen. Pat, all of you that have been on here, you know, when I say my prayers, I do say, and Lord, take care of my Facebook buddies and, you know, friends that are on there. So um, I hope that everybody has a wonderful day and that you will take the time today. And remember, when you don't surrender to Christ, you surrender to chaos. And when you have Christ, chaos has nothing over you because that's Satan's number one thing chaos he wants to get you all routed up to think that everything's gonna just <laughs> be bad and it's not it's all good okay so next time you make a decision just think if it's gonna involve other people if it's gonna hurt other people and if you think that's what God wants you to do most of the time things are pretty clear we're not talking about what college you cho you choose to go to you know we're not talking about that stuff. So, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Yeah, you will have a blessed day. Oh, Alexa just came on. Alexa, what's my notifications? One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Do you like Alexa? I have Alexa all over my house. I like it. So, I'm going to go now and finish my cold chicken and eggs. And I just want you to know, I hope you enjoyed this video. And that maybe it might have helped one person in one way. Okay? Love to all of you. Bye. Have a great day.